This is another battery that was sent to me by a company called Sikon. S-I-E-K-O-N. This is the size. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. This is the size of what you would probably consider a car battery. I forget what the group number on that is but um some of these new 100 amp hour batteries are smaller lighter group 24 maybe the mini size something like that this one is full size what i would call a full size battery and we're going to put it today on the west mountain radio software we're going to test it out and see how many amps it comes in out we're going to i made sure i charge it up fully over the last weekend today is monday we're going to test it and we're going to see what it does right now Okay, so we've got it uh, connected to the West Mountain Radio CBA5 battery test. Uh, the picture of this device down here at the bottom is what this device looks like. You can pick this up at West Mountain Radio if you're interested in doing battery tests on your own. It's really kind of up to you what you want to do with that. First of all, i got to name it, okay, because it always comes up as test one. I'm going to call it uh, Psycon 100, okay, and I'll just call the, the file name the same. So I named the file name Psycon 100. You can call it whatever you want to. And then I'm going to click on detect and it detects this battery as a 13.3 volt. I set the capacity myself as 100 amps and it detects uh, four cells, which is correct. Generally, um, lithium iron phosphate batteries are four cells. There's some exceptions to that, but generally that's true. So we're going to click on test. And right down here at the bottom right corner, it says amplifier. And I've always run these tests with no amplifier, but you can run it as, a, as if you're having a a 500,000, 2,000, or 4,000 watt amplifier. That'll be a fun test. I'm going to do one of those one of these days. In fact, put a comment below and let me know which battery you would like me to see test with a kilowatt amplifier. That might be a fun test. So I'm going to click on start, and it's going to start right there. Like I said, I charged this battery up last night. It came up at right about 13.2, 13.3 volts is what it's showing. 13.21 volts is what it's showing right now. It says line line data. 13.2 volts. Okay, so 100 amp hours, uh, a test of one amp per hour should take about 100 hours if it's rated at capacity, and that's just over four days. So we're going to put the camera on pause, and I'll see you in four days. Four plus days later, to be exact, it is 101.122 hours later, <laughs> amp hours. This test was very successful. 100 amp hour battery coming in at 101 .12 amp hours i'm not exactly sure what this part is here and zoom in on that right there i'm not i've seen one or two tests do something like that in the past where it kind of it's almost like like rfi or some sort of interference with it but i don't know if that's something in the software or what that is but hey you know what it didn't appear to affect the longevity of the test it didn't, uh, you know, if that had been like a lag or something and taken five or 10 amp hours off the test, then I might be somewhat concerned and want to run it again. But since it came in at 101 amp hours, I, I don't think I can complain. It looks like it kind of started to dip around here around 12.5 volts. And it took a nosedive right there when it ran to 11 volts and 10.5 volts right there, uh, the very end of the scale right there. That is where the software is set to cut off automatically. So test successful. I'd say this was a successful test of a 100 amp hour battery. Once again, special thanks to Sikon, or however you say their name, S-I-E-K-O-N. They did give me a discount code, and I will put that link with coupon code in the description below, so go check them out. Again, this is a full-size, what I would call a full-size battery, about the size of a car battery, roughly. Okay, so it's not going to be small, it's not going to be compact, but you might not need something like that. You might not need something small and compact, depending on what your application is. That's totally fine. There are applications for all different shapes and sizes of battery, and that's what this one is. So put a comment in the description below. Let me know if you have heard of this brand, if you own one, what brand do you use? What brand do you like? But if you've been looking at these, whether it's on Amazon or their website, use the link and the discount code, the coupon code in the description below. Thanks for watching today.